Hello, Carolina Girl Hoop Report followers. We are here at Bishop McNamara High School. I have with us an exclusive interview with 2024 guard Maddie McDaniel. Madison Maddie McDaniel, right? I just want to get, get, get yeah, it all right. right. That's right, that's get, right. Get, get, it, get it all in, people. One name doesn't cut it for this girl. Um, but I've known you for a few years. I've actually missed out on a couple of interviews because you have such a busy schedule all the time. We are at Nike Nationals. Yeah. I was like, we're going to get this interview. And then y'all went and got the shoes from the, mm -hmm. the Sabrina tent and everything. But Maddie, talk about your career here at McNamara. You're a senior now. You've always been, you've never not been ranked in the top 25. Talk about keeping a program at that level, at that national level for four years, three years. Uh, being here for four years, you know, I came into it. This program was already a prestige program. So coming in here, I just had to uphold that, uplift that, and keep that going. That was my main goal, my main mindset coming in here. Now, what is your nickname? Maddie, Mouse. Mouse. The mouse. Listen, you've been eating. You, you've been the mouse in the house. Has been eating everybody food for years now. You're an undersized guard. Um, my guy Bob, basketball Bob Corwin. I talked to him this morning. Bob said he wanted to say, you know, make sure he. Re I relate this to you. That he appreciates how hard you play all the time. Every time he sees you, you give more effort than anybody on the floor. What? Where does that come from? And how do you able to maintain it like that? You know, coming on the floor, you got to play every game like it's your last. You know, going through the in in injuries that I went through and the times that I went through it during COVID, it was just hard, like, not playing basketball and all that. So when I did get back on the floor, it was just like every game you got to play hard no matter what. That's always my mindset, playing hard. I talked with Ron James here right before we came out to meet with you for this walkthrough. Um, there was a game almost two years ago. We were at uh, the She Got Game Classic. You were playing DME. You went down. Didn't seem like you were going to come back in the floor. There were college coaches on the sidelines gasping. But you came back, scored 20 second half points, led your team to victory. There was a moment where you got an and one play. And I don't know if it was your dad or somebody. You were giving people in the crowd fives. You were just bringing that energy. Talk about those type of games. You always love the, the bigger the game, the bigger the Maddie yeah, we see. Yeah, so talk that, about that, man. Under the light, you know, you got to show out. You know, this my... It's my time, you know, I'm playing for my community. I got to put on for my city. Got to put on for the city, people. That's what D.C., the Maryland, D, the DMV area, if you don't put on for your city, you're not really about that life. Right. Congratulations. The list came out this week. You're going to be a McDonald's All-American. Yes, thank you. Talk about the hard work that goes into that. How does that feel when your name gets called that you're named to one of the most prestigious lists in basketball? Uh, you know, it feels like ways off your shoulders, but you got to keep going. Like, since I was a young kid, that's all I worked for. So to see my name on that list, it feels like all my hard work has definitely paid off. And then talk about South Carolina. You made a commitment to South Carolina. I, I was there at the Under Armour Elite 24 when you made the commitment in, in the little big, you know, chair, chair over there in the corner. Yeah, yeah. Um, but talk about Dawn Staley, you know, Jolette Law, Lisa, Coach Bowers, and that staff recruiting you. And what went into making that commitment to South Carolina? I'm definitely blessed to be uh, recruited by such a great staff. They're great people outside of the, off the basketball court. They're great people, great people to be around. So that was just the main thing. Picking that school was definitely the, the staff, the environment. Now, what kind of relationship do you have with the other girls, the Joyce's, the Adele Tax? I mean, it is a monster clash that you're going in with. Talk about, yeah. you know, those girls and the interactions. I know you play with a couple of them yeah, in the Elite yeah, 24 yeah. and other events, but what do you? What does that class mean to you going in with, with those girls? Right now, what we have, I feel like we're good. Like, even if we didn't get any other more recruits, right now we're strong with what we have going in there. I'm confident, and our relationship, you know, we went to a lot of camps together, so, you know, we cool, cordial, and all that. Absolutely. Decided. Well, you guys all play on that elite level. You know what I'm saying? Not just the rankings. The rankings don't mean nothing. Yeah. When people come watch you play, that's how you know it's an elite player. Mm -hmm. But Matt, Maddie, M Madison, Maddie, Mousy, McDaniel. <laughs> We're going to keep adding names. I know the South Carolina people, the nicknames that you want to add on. I know them Gamecock family, they, yeah. they, they're going to really be down there. But yeah. thank you. Always a pleasure I to watch you play. Good luck. It. They're heading up to the Mecca. They're going to kick New York's butt tomorrow. But they're going to be heading to the Mecca here to, to play a game. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all again. Absolutely. Sure. Absolutely.